Hey guys, Tim Pokemon here. Today's video, we have 24 hours to find bug shiny Pokemon or else I gotta transfer some shotties. Now, the challenge today is because of the fun spotlight hour, we have three different bugs. We gotta find one of Wurple, Caterpie, and Weedle at some point today. It could be during the spotlight hour. It could be during, you know, just the normal grind, but we have to find one of each and we gotta find a total of five shiny bug type Pokemon. So the good news is that we have some boosted Pokemon Come on, like Combi. There's a bunch of them here, but they are all not shiny. Now we have to find five different shiny bugs. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, but I thought I'd put myself to a fun little challenge, and we got a fun spotlight hour today, so I'm excited for that, and we'll see what we can find on the day. Now we got a Kitterfly that isn't shiny, and you guys let me know in the comments down below how is your event going, and are you guys excited for the upcoming events? Honestly, we'll see what drops for the sustainability week, but pretty excited about these bug challenges today because I would love to find some bugs and I love setting myself to some challenges they're always a lot of fun we've got a Wurple that isn't purple and I think everything but the Weedle was checked that's not shiny either though let's get to finding these shiny bugs now what's good is this event has a couple boosted bug type Pokemon like the Burmy and these tasks oh wait that's awkward that's the Wimpod Jupiter task but we got the Burmy and the tasks okay that one was one and this other one is also another one and I still haven't found a shiny Burmy in this research despite doing over 100 200 checks for him Hopefully soon today, that's the goal. And here's a perfect start to the challenge. We got ourselves a level one shiny Burmy. And as you can probably tell by the CP, it's not from research. I've been wondering if you find it in the wild, does it also have boosted odds? Cause I've seen a few of them in the wild. I know it's not a wild spawn for the event, but I've been seeing them around, but we picked up one. If there's a full odds, cool. It's also a male Burmy, so we could go into Motham, which is awesome. But hey, level one shiny, great way to start the challenge. Alrighty, time to start the grind. We got ourselves a few bugs chilling around and we do have the news for the upcoming sustainability event. Now, it does seem like there is no wild spawns being because the cancel event that's coming up with the new features is going to be taking over the wild spawns, I believe, for that event. But we are going to have boosted odds and eggs for Drillbur, Fungus, Binacle, Combi, and I'm trying to remember the last one. There's another one in there, but yeah. Five, five Pokemon, oh, Trubbish is the last one. With boosted odds in the eggs, they're also gonna be in research, but again, I'm pretty sure that Kanto Pokemon are going to be taking over the wild spawns. We'll have to see how that goes. I think they might also, those spawns that I just mentioned, might also be in the wild, but we'll have to see. We have a Trubbish Spotlight Hour as well, which I actually can't wait for, because I love the Garbaggio Spotlight Hour. We will have a lot of fun with that one, but we got ourselves a Spotlight Hour to focus on today, and some Shiny Hunting to focus on today. And a quick solo Burmy task. Are you a shiny just like the one we found in the wild? Nope. And now we got some more bugs to shiny check as we got ourselves a cool, a couple cool spawns like this pincer, which could have been shiny, boosted shiny, and it's a bug type, so it per perfectly fits this event. It's in raids as well, so maybe we'll do like a raid or two for it. I don't know, but we got an Encada, which is boosted. We got the Combi, which was guaranteed female, as you can see. You know, like if you look on the map, you can see if it's female or not right off the bat. Some people I know only check the female ones just because they don't want the male ones to accidentally take their shiny luck. Me, I don't really care. We love it for the memes, you know, but we got ourselves a Ralts that is in shiny. We got ourselves a bunch more bugs. Again, we got to find at least one of the Caterpie, of the Wurmple, and of the Weedle. So if we don't find all three of those today, we're transferred to shiny. So come on, purple Wurmple at some point's got to shine. We got ourselves a, a couple more Shuckles and we got a Ponyta, which the bugs probably don't want to see as it's, you know, super effective, all that kind of stuff, but it's not blue. And two shiny boosted Burmy Task and a Venonat Slash Paris. Paris, you go into the stack for uh, more Stardust later. But we got two Burmy Tasks. Let's just see if one of these are shiny. First one is a no. 206 though, close to the Hundo. And the second one is going to be also a no. Not shiny and not Hundo. And now we got ourselves a nice little cluster of bugs. And let's see if one of them turns out to be shiny. I know I checked the core fish first and that's not a bug, but just, just ignore that. Okay, we move on. Let's see if we got ourselves a Combi or if one of the three Burmy tasks that we have lined up, that's a Swaddle, can't be shiny yet, uh, hopefully soon. But we got a Starly, that's tiny. Okay, we got ourselves a Shuckle as well, not shiny. And again, we need to find the Weedle, we need to find the Wurmple, we need to find the Caterpie. And Caterpie, and I just have to small. Caterpie really, really liked me at the beginning of this event so it's been a little bit weird recently not having to find any these last two days 
because I've had like five caterpies this event, but hey, we move on. Maybe I found all of them already, but Swablu, blue, not swa yellow. Let's go through the three, three tasks. Let's see if one of them is a shiny Burmy. I know we already found a Burmy, but I'll still be doing these tasks, and I am going to be doing that Shadow Raid right there. You guys saw it probably, the Sneasel. It's just chilling there, ready to be shiny checked in a second, but... The Burmy isn't shiny, okay, into the raid. Okay, won't lie, this is a kind of bash your sneeze over here, but it could be a shiny shadow. So we have to check it with you guys just in case, especially because these raids have given me a few recently, and this would have completed a shiny line for me because I totally forgot Sneasel has a difference in the you know little feather on its head for the male and female one, so I need one more to complete the shiny shadow line completely. Three more quick tasks. First one is a Burmy, not shiny. Second one is also a Burmy, but it's also not shiny. And the third one is make three curveball throws. It is giving us a blue-eyed Venonat or a shiny Paris, but no. And we got ourselves some more bugs to check, and we got some boosted ones with the combies. Let's see if one of the two is shiny, no. But we got ourselves, most importantly, some Weedles, some Wormples, and stuff like that, because again, we gotta get those for the challenge. So, if they don't pop up today, we're in trouble. There's some shinies that are gonna be transferred. We don't wanna do that, you know, so we gotta go ahead and try to find them. We got ourselves a Caterpie all the way over there that is in Golden, and I will say, they are pretty good shinies, all three of them. And I am excited for the Spotlight Hour, especially because it could really help our challenge if we find one of each. That, that would be perfect somehow if we could do that. That'd be amazing, but yeah, we got tons of them just chilling around here. They obviously are some of the most common spawns in this event, so no complaints for me, at least today, because, you know, we're finding tons of them and hopefully gonna find some shiny ones of them, but we got a shuckle that isn't a blue, and then we got one more over there. Are you blue? No, but we got a dwebble in the middle. What you doing? Not shining. Time for three quick Burmy tasks. Let's see if one of them shine. First one is a no 203. Second one though is going to be also not shiny. Okay, let's check the shuck on the incense before it despawns, but let's check the third one. Are you a shiny Burmy? You are not to 192, but we got two Wurmples and a Weedle. Let's check them, see if one of them turns out to be shiny. The second Wurmple is in purple, and we got ourselves a Weedle, which also isn't shiny. And here's another bug type that is boosted and would be really cool if we could pick up. It is a shiny Cleavor. That would be pretty cool. So we got a Cleavor raid, we got Walkstar. Does that mean it's gonna be a shiny Cleavor? Not quite, but I thought I might as well check it. Now, at the Forest Cluster, we might as well check it. We got ourselves a Letty Bow, which isn't an event spawn, but can be shiny, and of course is a bug type, so would have been nice to add to the roster so far. We're, we're only one shiny in, so we got we got four shinies to find, so we'll see if we could do it. Got ourselves a Weedle, which of course is one of the three top priorities for the day. So far, haven't picked up any of the main three, but hopefully soon. And I decided to take down another quick Shadow Raid, and this one was a Shadow Drowsy which I still don't have in my collection the shiny shadow drowsy so if we could pick that up that'd be amazing we got the final strike because you're the only one in there but we got a shiny shadow we do not another pink good shiny shadow I'd say it's like the sneasel which one do you guys think is better let me know in the comments drowsy sneasel let me know now we got ourselves two two kegs which I'm gonna hatch it in front of you guys because it's all the boosted shinies in here and we have two hatch two eggs tasks which are boosted shinies both of those aren't hundos you can tell by the cp but galore and subfisk not shiny we're looking for a 926 i believe for that hundo but the second one is not shiny 915 a little bit better than the first one combi not shiny and everything else but these double weedles i think i have checked so let's check them boom Nah. Now, here's a raid I want to do today as well, at least a couple times, is Heracross, because it's a boosted shiny now because it has a Mega, and it's an amazing shiny. I'll take more of them always, but we're at max energy, but that doesn't matter because we're getting the shiny. Nope, not the shiny, 1743, pretty good, but 30 off the hundo. And the shadow raids are just everywhere today, so we're taking them down. We got another Sneasel because, again, why not? Might as well get another shiny shadow check. So let's see if this one's a pink Sneasel. And it's also another male one, so that was one of the reasons why I made my way over here to make sure I got it checked. And we're getting close to stream time, so we gotta start getting some shinies because it's not looking great right now. But we got ourselves a Tapu Bulu raid. Let's see if that shines. It does not. 2365 that is oh my gosh that is really bad wait isn't it like pretty sure it's 2442 it's like 100 off the hundo almost caught a first ball though so might as well have a checker with you okay we catch a first ball you are really bad okay cool and we got another tap of bulu now this one's better than the last one but i mean the last one was a 12 10 10 so it, it had to be better more than likely right unless this was floor but this one isn't weather boosted because it is a remote invite from tyla 
but we don't get a shiny. Other than a saw, dude. Let's see if it's a shiny one. Let's see if it's another Hundo Shadow. Who knows? But all I know is that I get a 12K egg, which is nice because we got to get that sand dial. And saw, dude. Oh. oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It almost happened again. It actually almost happened again. This is like a functional hundo or right by it. Saw, dude. Look at this. Oh my gosh. What is my IVs for my chop, bro? I said it could have been another saw, dude. That would have been insane if it was. But it was pretty darn close to it. That's for sure. We did gain a decent amount of stardust. I forgot to screenshot the exact start number. Oh, shot a Caterpie. Nice. Okay. We're right after the spotlight hour. You wanted to be mean and not pop up during the spotlight hour, but now you pop up 10 minutes after. I guess you do you, but hey, at least we got it. We definitely do take that. Got a shiny for the stream, which you love to see. Well, let's see if this one's a three star. Boom. Not really. Okay. Let's go for Quran because he did send the luck our way. And let's also go for Raymo because I was reading Raymo's message right before I got it. There we go. There we go. And let's get a big W for L as well. Great timing on that. Oh, Shiny Weedle. Nice. Okay. Well, Spotlight Hour is coming late for me because I got Shiny Caterpie and Shiny Weedle after the Spotlight Hour, within an hour after the Spotlight Hour. How does that make any sense? <laughs> I don't get it, but hey, no complaints from me. We got a Shiny Weedle. That's a one star. Nice. Okay, that's a W. Let's get some W's in chat. And now it's time to wrap up today's video. Now, it didn't go quite as planned because we only got three shinies, but they were all bug types. So at least we saved some transfers there. No duplicates as well. We got the Weedle, we got the Caterpie on stream, and we got the level one Burmy in the wild, which is interesting, right? Because I think my game was a little bit broken today because we got ourselves a Burmy. It was a really weird day in the wild, considering that's any uh, in this event. It is a research exclusive Pokemon, and then we got the two Shinies during after Spotlight Hour. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and then we got the two Shinies, the Caterpie and Weedle. After their spotlight hour, yes, we had the crazy spotlight hour go on. I got nothing throughout the whole hour. It's a little bit painful. And then I got the Caterpie 10 minutes after, and then 30 minutes after the Caterpie, I got a Weedle. So, just kind of weird that we got both of them an hour after the spotlight hour. I guess my spotlight hour was delayed or something, but hey, we take it at the end of the day. We got three shinies, which you love to see, but that does mean we got to transfer some shinies. And, uh... I'm thinking we got to transfer some Grub-A-Dub Dubs because, uh, unfortunately, for, for a Grub-A-Dub Dubs case here, it's a bug type. And, you know, we lost this challenge because of bug types. So, you know, we got to transfer bug types. I feel like that makes sense. But, uh, oh, wait, this is level one. I can't transfer that zero star. We'll go to one star because that calm day was raining. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and transfer this guy right here. Goodbye, Grubbin. I'm sorry. Sorry about these shiny transfers, guys. I know sometimes it's hard to see, but we are going to go with this one as well. Goodbye to this Grubbin 752 CP. Have a safe flight, buddy. I'm sorry. Didn't want to have to do that to you. But imagine we got a shiny right here of the Comey. It just spawned it. Imagine. Okay, I was going to say, after the transfers, that would have hurt a lot. But that is where we're going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And we're going to go ahead and grab a... A Angie Morpeko, because it's angry. But yeah, he said, uh... Oh, he said, I'm actually not angry. I'm very happy because we had 53K. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Honestly, you guys have been insane with the support. So thank you guys so much. The road to 100K starts now, and the next stop is 60. But, but we got to get to 54 first. So thank you guys for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys for joining the community. Honestly, so grateful for every one of you guys hitting that subscribe button and joining the and watching the videos, joining the community. But uh, we'll see you in the next Pokemon venture. Uh, peace.